feel like something bad is gonna happen to me. This is Lake Mungo. And this is its scariest scene. A video from the phone of a 16-year-old girl who drowned while swimming at a dam with her family. Lake Mungo is a 2008 horror film and mockumentary, using actor interviews to tell the story of a family dealing with the drowning death of their daughter, Alice. The movie starts as a grounded exploration of grief and eventually transitions to psychological and supernatural horror as it plays with the idea of Alice's spirit haunting her family's house. As the plot unfolds, we get some twists and eventually arrive at a point where Alice's family digs up her phone that she buried while she was at Lake Mungo for a school camp. And what's on the phone is pretty creepy. Alice walks along the shore of the lake at night, recording as she goes. Here, the movie uses found footage style storytelling, putting us directly in the shoes of the person filming and experiencing the horror, which in this case is Alice. This makes what we're seeing feel more real and also kind of gives you that feeling of claustrophobia. It's not only dark, but the footage is also very grainy, making everything more ambiguous, which makes everything more suspenseful, which creates a creepy atmosphere and makes you feel uneasy. There's also no score here, just the natural sounds being picked up by the phone, which I think is a little creepy. We then cut to Alice having a conversation with a psychic about death. Are you scared of dying? Yeah, of course I'm scared of dying. Isn't everyone scared of dying? This is a conversation that happened before she took this video on her phone. And this clip of her revealing that she has a very rational fear of death works as a good setup for what she will encounter in the video. Alice then tells the psychic about the dreams she's been having recently. And as we hear her describe them, we're also seeing the video she took at Lake Mungo, as her dreams match exactly what she's experiencing in the footage. I feel like something bad is gonna happen to me. Or I feel like something bad has happened. It hasn't reached me yet, but it's on its way. Alice walks closer and closer to a figure in the distance, just standing there. The dark, grainy footage is even more effective now, as we wonder what she's about to come across and the tension builds. We know she fears death and has dreams about something bad getting closer and closer to her, so we can only imagine that she's about to walk right up to some form of death. Alice's description of her dreams can also be used to describe what we're experiencing as viewers. And it's getting closer, and I don't feel ready. I feel like I can't do anything. The mysterious figure is getting closer to us as we may not feel ready for what we're about to see and can't do anything about it besides like turn off the movie or something but fuck that you know. The score builds and what we see next is truly unsettling. What Alice comes across at Lake Mungo is herself with a bloated and disfigured face, the same way her body would be found later after drowning. Warning, the next shot is a little graphic. Now what I think makes this scene so unsettling is that Alice is literally face to face with death, specifically her future dead self. She went from having dreams that something bad was going to happen to her to it being very apparent that the bad thing that's getting closer and closer to her is her own demise. And she had to live with this until it finally got to her not long after she took this video. There's different interpretations of what this figure actually is, but I'll let you go on Reddit to look at those. The way the movie depicts dead Alice also adds to the horror of this scene. The fact that she looks so ghostly and that we're seeing her face through this grainy video. And the part that gets me the most is her partially opened eye. I feel like it just makes her look helpless and terrifying at the same time. Like the movie as a whole, this scene is not only creepy and unnerving, but also really sad. And it's not over yet. Because what happens next is one of the most flinch inducing jump scares I've ever seen. It was Ellie's body and Ellie's face. Oh, fuck off. Some might think this is a little cheap, but I think it was earned based on the way the tension was built up before it, and I honestly didn't see it coming. 
It also makes it to where the video ends in an unclear way, which makes sense because Alice's death is pretty ambiguous. We know she drowned, but that's about it. We don't know any other details, and none of her family members even saw it happen. After encountering death, Alice buries her phone, and of course dies sometime after. A very sad and tragic story, with a climax that I think is pretty terrifying. There is absolutely no rational explanation for what she saw on that phone. 